Hi and welcome to our new Boromundian Air video. Today we want to show you how you can use our module Managed Software. With Managed Software you can install and update prepackaged applications. Let's switch to the BMC for the configuration. In the BMC we switch to Software and there we have our tab Managed Software. There is an other tab called Products and in the Products tab there is our software which we packaged for you. In our case we use Google Chrome. In Managed Software the applications are separated in Products, Product Lines and Versions. We use Google Chrome X64. In our case we use an older version because we want to show you how the update process works. Right click on the older version, set release level and set release level to released. After the download is finished with the green check mark, you can create an inside job. To create the inside job for Google Chrome, we click on next, next and finish. Now we created the inside job and assigned the job to our client where we want to install Google Chrome. For many software applications, you can add configurable parameters. For that, we switch back to software. For using the configurable parameters, you have to right click on the product. Go to edit and there you have configurable parameters. In our case, we set the home site to baramundi.com. Click apply and now if you want to install a new client with Baramundi managed software, the Google Chrome home site is baramundi.com. Now we want to update Google Chrome to the newest version. For that, we release the new version of Google Chrome. Set release level to released and we recommend to set the release level to the product line. For that you go to product line, set default release level to released, click apply and now as soon as a new version is available, the version is automatically released. The next step is to create and scan and update job. For that we have to switch to jobs. Go to manage software, right click new job for Windows device, name our job, click to next. Here we have to use Update Managed Software. Here we have three actions. Inventory and Update, Inventory Only and Update without Inventory. We recommend Inventory and Update. Click to Next. If necessary, you can set a filter for certain product lines. Click to Next, click to Next and Finish. Now we have created and scanned an update job. The next step is to assign a job to our client where we want to update our version. Switch to the client and click on the job. Now you can see on the job steps that the inventory and the update managed software was the first step and now the update from Google Chrome is getting started. The Google Chrome update was successful. Now we switch back to software. Here I want to show you how you not release a software. You click on the software, set release level to not released and now you can clean up your dip. For that you scroll down to settings and in the settings you can simulate a cleanup. Here you can see that the old Google Chrome version would be deleted and after the simulation you can initiate your cleanup. Now the file is deleted from the dip. Two more important things are pending downloads. If a download of a software isn't working, here you can see the failed downloads and you can delete it. The other thing is blocked updates. For that you go to a product, right click on the product, go to all tasks and block updates. Here you can set a client and search for it. If you have found a client, you click to next to finish and there you can enter a reason for blocking the updates for this version. Click to OK and now we see on blocked updates that Zoom video communication updates are blocked for our client video CL01. Now we have configured managed software for the first time. In the video description you can find a link for all the MSW products and the applications which have to be downloaded manually. If you have any questions feel free to contact our support. Thanks for watching and bye bye.